making a lot of policy choices in there. Yep. I wish I could buy and fix this city right on up, but sadly, it's there ain't nothing going... To, there's nothing there to be able to fix it. Oh, wait, no, I can. I can now. Yeah. Yeah, it's in res it was in resistance for one turn. Now, I can actually buy some shit and make it worth a crap. Yeah. Let me see. I'll buy... a worker... I'll buy uh, some walls. I'll buy a nice market. And a lighthouse to go in it. Yes. There should already be a lighthouse there. Nope. Really? No, you didn't have a lighthouse there, even though you have a source of fish. And uh, you know what? J just for the heck of it, I'll, I'll buy these two ocean tiles that you should have bought. Yeah. I mean, the two ocean tiles I couldn't afford to buy. Because mm. I've been Maybe sitting here so. trying to pull myself out of um of debt this whole time by building roads that I now get no bonus from. You literally just put oh. me back in debt, you know. I, I know I may have put you back in debt, but here's a, here, here's a consolation prize. When I build a caravanissary in this city, um... I'll, I'll make sure to send a caravan over to you. I'm surprised you didn't make a counteroffer. Uh, oh, right, I didn't even notice the counteroffer. Uh, yeah, that, uh, yeah, that seems fair. That seems fair. In ten turns, the war resumes. And then you'll pay me even more. Ah, oh, perfect. Just what I needed. Actually, let me see. Acoustics. That's what I need. Uh, East India Trading Company. Unit needs orders. Ah, yes. My second worker. You should be right here. Next turn. <laughs> Oh, I actually could just instantly purchase a courthouse. Yeah, I'll make a caravanissary. Perfect. That'll be good. Mm, I think a burial tomb there. A bank there. Hmm. Charlie, this was actually a very poorly run city, it appears. Well, no shit. I was sitting there trying to do as much with it as I could. No, I mean, you physically had much more loss than gain. I'm aware of this. Extremely aware of this. Oh, interesting. I believe I've gotten a new spy. Oh, Sejong's making the Leaning Tower of Pizza. Okay, Leaning Tower of Pizza. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, great, now my city's starving because of you. Meanwhile, my economy continues to prosper despite Charlie and his belly aching.
Oh, I can see mother cow from here. Hmm. It'd be so easy to just start marching south. But I won't. You know, here's a feature that they should have included in this game, Charlie. Um, they should have made it where if you make a peace treaty with another player, you can break it, but with an extremely heavy penalty. You know? Okay. Yeah. I mean, because obviously that's something that would be done in the real world, right? When somebody breaks a peace treaty, sure, you can get out of it, but it, it just makes you look not good. Hello there, swordsman. Oh, look, it's Charlie. Charlie, everyone, it's it's Charlie. He's he's on he's on my south there. There's also let's, barbarian let's... straight to yourself as well. I'm uh, trying actually, to avoid. it's a barbarian ship. He can't actually get close enough to hurt me though. No, but I was in the water. <laughs> yeah. Well, I found. So you better just stay right there while I roll the catapults into place. I'm trying to ro run around your city. I'm just trying to get away at this point. Uh, I got some bad news for you. What? I completely bisect the continent. Mm. Meaning you'll have to pay to access my territory. Yeah, and it seems Catholicism has been spread. Be careful, Charlie. The barbarians here no longer attack me, for they know it is fruitless. But you, on the other hand... They never really attacked that city. They always just sat outside of it. Of course they always did, because you never built anything there. Do you know why barbarians attack? Because they want the plunder from the um, places. Yeah, they want the plunder from developed lands. Yeah. And the only way they can get plunder from developed lands if the land is developed. I I'm aware of this. So, in other words, Charlie, you just weren't good enough to steal from. Then why would you steal it? No, no, no. You weren't good enough to steal from. I'm taking the useless crap you make and actually turning it into something useful. I never had time to build anything there. Every time I'd start building something, they would immediately get kidnapped. Literally. That's the only thing they ever took from that city is workers. That's why I built a road to the city. Because I was trying to make it to where it wasn't like that. Now thanks for the stoneworks. Yep, time to start building a road to the new city I'm building over here. Okay. Choose production. Garden. Choose production. Forge. Next turn. Thank you. 
begin producing a new settler. And uh, I think that's it. What you doing there, Charlie? Building a road. Why are you building a road on a tile that's already a road? Uh, I'm not exactly sure why I started there. Hmm, interesting. Let's go into my other city. That's in there trying to recover from blundering. Blundering, yes. Blundering. No, blundering. Trying to recover from barbarians. Barbarians? Barbarians. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> y'all haven't figured it out yet, I deeply enjoy getting Charlie's goat. Musicians Guild. Next turn. Oh, look. Charlie has some little pikemen running over. No, they've just been standing there. No, I just haven't noticed them until now. Mm -hmm. oh, are you talking about the ones to your west? Yes. Ah, uh, no. They're new. They were made to get rid of some barbarians that were over here, and I just sat them out of the city so my okay, workers had okay. room to move. Here, I'll march out some musketmen to help. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I enjoy. <laughs> I can't even build musketmen because I don't even have gunpowder. Yeah, you don't have printing press either, but... No, I don't. <laughs> Antwerp seeks America. Well, I know where America is. Hey, Charlie. You over there making some wheat? Uh, no. He's building a road. He's building a road? Yes. Why is he building a road right next to this wheat? Instead of, you know, building the wheat. He's building a road through the wheat. That doesn't make any sense. Because if I connect my cities, I could almost gain some gold. Uh, well, we can't be having that. I think it's time to start the war up again. Yeah. Just... Yeah, let, let, let me just park that there for a minute. <laughs> Alex, that is my only city that has production. <laughs> Charlie, you aren't understanding how much I want to screw you over right now. I'm really fighting the instinct, but it is... Uh, it, this is eventually going to happen. Why don't you go hmm. take over the rest of the world first? Uh, because by then it won't be a challenge. I don't know, by then maybe I'll actually have a economy. <laughs> maybe I'll no. actually have an army to put up. Charlie, you already have pikemen. That's a pretty considerable army. I got two. And a crossbow, and that's it. Well... I'm just going to keep parked right there. Right next to your men. Actually, you know what? I know what I'll do for you. What? I'll do something very nice for you. Uh, let's see. Oh, never mind. I won't be able to do that for at least two turns. Never mind. What? Mm, nothing. Nothing. Don't worry about it. Can't do anything with it for two turns. So. Actually, you know what? I should consider making a trading ship. You mean like the trading ship of mine you stole? Actually, I never stole the trading ship. Well, I no longer have a trading ship. Maybe it got destroyed? I mean, 
you can plunder them, yes, but I've never specifically gone out of my way to destroy one. I'm pretty sure you destroyed it. On top of that, you also took the city it was tied to. That does sound like something I would do. Maybe yeah. I should pillage this improvement while I'm at it. Yeah, I should pillage this road. Why? Why would you pillage a road? So you can't use it? I mean, your units could use it too. True. I think I'll just follow you around menacingly. Mm. Okay, yeah. Here, I'll, uh, I'll purchase it now. Caravan. Next turn. What? They're right here on the bed. Well, come get them. Is Cassie asking where you put your balls? Losing gold. Hey, Charlie, have you ever thought about why we have balls on the outside? Nope. Seriously? That's nope. never occurred to you before? Nope. Well, I mean, just think about it. It's like, why the hell would we have that? I mean, there are tons of species out there that have internalized ones. So why would we have ours on the outside? Mm. Here, Charlie, I'll send you a nice gift. What, what do you have to gain by trading with me? Um, you do realize that every trade route generates gold, right? Yes, but I literally have nothing to generate it from. Exactly. You're making something from nothing. You're now useful. No, I, I don't get nothing from this trade route. You... Yes, you do. What? Well, here, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you in a second when I see the trade route. Oh, it, it does say two from trade routes between your city and other civilizations. Yeah. See, Charlie, I'm helping. Yes, now all I need is, no, 17 more and I'll be breaking even. <laughs> well, I didn't say I was bailing you out. <laughs> yeah, you know what would be a bailout? Give me back my city. <laughs> oh, that's never happening. <laughs> no, you'll have to take it if you want it. And I'm afraid... Bad I'm afraid, given... The Oh, they want ivory in Mother Cow. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm? Monuments. Actually, no, no. Mother Cow wants citrus. No, no, that's not. Oh, Mother Cr No, yeah, sorry. Mo Mother Cow does want ivory. You're right. This production. I think I want a harbor. That way I can connect it to the capital using the sea. Now notice the thriving utopia I've made from your now revitalized city. It's actually generating quite a bit of and is no longer in danger of starving. It wasn't in danger of starving to begin with. It had food. Until you destroyed it, of course. But I didn't destroy it. I didn't destroy the food at all. I've pillaged nothing. If anything, I've built more than I've broken. 
You know, have you ever heard of somebody breaking into your house, kicking down the door, and then putting the door back up and just really making the hinges and the lock better than it was before, and then they go around and clean up the place? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that's kind of like what I'm doing. <laughs> Consider it forceful house cleaning. Hurry up, barbarians. Stop uh, plundering my I shit, barbarians. Have... Okay, never mind. Yeah, I'm getting 115 gold a turn. Yes, that's because you also own 20 fucking cities. I thought it was because I'm just really good economically. Ooh, I should have that swamp marsh removed before I actually try to settle there, but that takes time. National Epic next turn. I should probably be sending these ships off to discover all the remaining people. I think I'll do that. Wait a minute, let's see here. I know Sejong, me, Gandhi, Montezuma, you, an unmet player, Enrico Dandolo, and Washington. Who's the unmet? Oh, it's Bismarck. That's who it is. It's Bismarck. Otto von Bismarck, yes. I think I know where he is. I think. I could be wrong. No, wait, no. I already know Bismarck, yeah. Stuttgart, Germany is exposed on my map. How odd. Didn't you say that, um, India's continent was huge? Uh, yeah, it kind of is. I mean, it took me like 30 turns to pass around it, so yeah. From our map, from what I can see, his continent is very small. Well, Charlie, your continent's kind of biggish. Especially since it has something to the north. There's something to the north of it? Uh, there's a big something to the north of it, yes. I haven't seen it at all. Well, considering I just sent ships north, um... I, I'd say you must be blind. Are you not, not going to look at that deal I sent you? Deal. The deal I sent you. Why? <laughs> because that's my city now. I've made that perfectly clear. Mine. <laughs> if you would like it back, you were free to try and take it, but something tells me you'd be at quite the disadvantage. Why is that? Oh, you know, the 15 ranged boats sitting right off the coast. Yeah, it, it won't it won't take very long at all, really. And I just need to send a ship up the coast, make contact with Bismarck, and uh, World Congress will be founded, and I will be the chief of them. I mean, don't you vote for who's going to uh, run the World Congress? Uh, no, the person who makes contact with all of the, um, uh, people first will be the majority holder of the World Congress and will have one more vote than everyone else. 
Yes. But you every World Congress you vote on the leader. Uh, yeah, but the problem is the leader always has more votes. I know. You seen where I'm going with this, ain't you? No. What I'm saying is, once I become leader of the World Congress, it will take a major economic upset to remove me from power. I'm a dangerous little man, Charlie. Very dangerous. Also but an I'm, asshole. I'm coming to burn down your cities with a rake. Hey, Charlie, think you should drop a save next turn? Why is that? Just in case the game crashes. Are you about to declare war again? No. Though if you keep uh, suggesting it, uh, it may tempt me. Perhaps putting temptation in my path is not in your best interest. I've been trying to tem temptate you to give me back my city, too. Well, I'm not going to willingly give you back mother fish under any circumstance, Charlie. You would best let go of that pipe dream while you have the chance. Matter of fact, I'm about to make a city-state my bitch by making it a trade state. So, yeah. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, just just march straight up here to Stuttgart. Mm. I'm thinking a nice light. No, no. A harbor. Make an aqueduct. Next turn. Look at how prosperous I've made this little area. Mm hmm. Yeah, looks nice and prosperous the way I'm making these, these trading stands and all Only that. Only I could see it. What are you talking about, Charlie? You have pikemen posted all around it. And a very weak little crossbowman. Mm hmm. Matter of fact, that makes me think I should probably do more to discourage you. Well, oh! Oh, so you want to play that way, eh? Well, okay, Charlie. Just remember, I wasn't going to do anything to you, but now you've actually... You've now actually, you know, gotten my ire up, so... Okay. Bye, Charlie. You're about to be blasted. You started this. You started no, I didn't. This. did start this for you. You took my city. I took your city and made it better. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He did start this. <laughs> he took my city. <laughs> Cassie, Charlie's it, Charlie's been starting some shit around here, and he doesn't realize how bad he's about to get his ass royally. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, there goes one, one of them. <laughs> that was one of that was my, one of my good units too. <laughs> yeah, Charlie, you're not gonna be very happy with what's happening here. 
You really should have started this fight. I was literally not going to expand any further. And you pulled this. This was a bad move on your part. <laughs> I probably won't even be able to touch the city, will I, Alex? No, you won't. You see all those Galeuses right off the coast, Charlie? They're my strategy. You get within two tiles and I fire on you with all of them. Okay. Yeah. You should have ended the conflict when you had the chance. Now all these troops have to die. That's fine. All these troops is costing me to the point I can't even research anything. <laughs> you literally took the city that is literally the head of all of that for me. Okay, time to keep shooting. <sighs> yeah, um, uh, I think I'll do flash heal. Yep. Mm, yeah. And motherfish fires upon an enemy. Oh, my boat has leveled up. I think I'll uh, make it stronger against attacking land units. And there goes your pikeman. Pikeman marches. Pikeman damages. Your uh, shitty little. Yeah. And there goes your compound bowman. And. And yeah, this this battle's turning into a real one-sided slaughter. Do I have anything left? Uh, let me see here. I'll tell you in a second once I'm done choosing everything else. Um, well, you still got one trebuchet. You still got two pikemen, and you got a trebuchet over on the mountains to the uh, west. Okay, well then, there's literally nothing I can do anymore at that point. Yeah. You really shouldn't have attacked me. I don't know why you thought that was a good idea. I mean, you Cut. know how powerful I was when I literally took your city in three turns. You took a city that had zero defense, pretty much. Yeah. Do you know how hard it is to take a city that has no defense? Oh, and I just upgraded it to a frigate. It's, yeah, so now it's even more dangerous to you. Uh, let's see. Unit needs orders. Prove that. Yeah. So, uh, you want me to just go ahead and destroy all these guys, or would you like to end the uh, war next turn? I guess let's just go ahead and end the war. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. I'll just end the war, and I'll just move on somewhere else. Can I move? Can I move my capital? The only way you could move your capital would be to either raise your own city or um, sell it. Though I don't know why you would want to do that. So it was not I... next to you. Oh, but I'm such a nice neighbor. Didn't I send that? Oh, that's right. Actually, okay, I need you to kill all of my units, though. So. <sighs> no, I'm not doing that. Oh, okay. I really yeah. need them to die. <laughs> You do realize if you move them back into your territory and then um, hit, click the skull icon on the left side, you can uh, That's sacrifice right. them. Yeah. Do they have to be in my territory? Yeah, uh, otherwise I don't think you get any gold back. Oh. You know what's a real shame, though? What? You destroyed the caravan. Oh, you yeah. mean the, yeah, that one? Yeah. Yeah, the one that was actually giving you money. I was getting two gold per trip. You were getting two gold per trip. That's two more gold than you had. But, you know. Yes, some people are just so ungrateful for their nice neighbor who does everything for them. Everything. You stole my land. You killed my people. You probably raped my women. Killed your people? Probably. How many people did you have in this city before I took over? More than nine. Uh, well, right now it's about to be ten. I think I was so. up to like fifteen. <laughs> no. <laughs> I had, that, that, that was the city that produced all of the food that I actually spread through my entire kingdom. If it was the city that produced all the food... Oh, look! Oh, not what? all of it. It produced what? most of it. Hey! What? The fuck, Washington. Look what he suggested. 
Uh, well, I can't see what he suggested. Washington suggested that everyone embargo Egypt. I can tell you I'm going to be putting two against that. Commit proposal. Oh, Instead, shit. We've uh, discovered everyone now. Mm, yeah. How about World's Fair, Charlie? Would you like World's Fair? What does that do again? Uh, it begins a World's Fair project. Basically, everyone puts forth resources towards the World's Fair, and whoever does the most uh, gets a big boost in culture and science and social policies. I mean, that would probably be fine, but I wouldn't be able to do anything for it. Okay, you know what? Which one should I propose, Charlie? I really don't remember any of them. Well, there's cultural heritage sites. Do, do, do uh, we each, have one? Each world wonder produces three culture to the city. Can, can, is there one that's just uh, make everything free? No. Damn. I could start banning luxuries that you depend on to survive. Yeah, that would not be nice, cause... Okay, then. I'm gonna go for cultural heritage sites, then. Why not just do World Fair? Why not just do the World's Fair? You're, you'd be the only one to win because it. Because I'm trying to be nice. So you stop being a dipshit? Alright. Yeah. Trying to be nice so you'll stop being an idiot. And it's proving very hard to get you to stop being an idiot. I kind of need you to end your turn. Oh, and accept the deal I sent you, I guess. Oh, right. Uh, accept. And hopefully that's quick enough I could stop training more units. Well, you don't have to stop training more units. No, but they're literally just going to cost me more. Hmm, motherfish. Let's see, where should I send these people? Oh yeah, over here to finish this. Which, did, didn't you say you settled a, another city on this continent? Uh, on my continent. Okay, yours. good. Good. Maybe I should come settle some more on that continent. Well, actually, I'm trying to settle another city as well. At least two more. Ooh, I should probably use my spy to figure out where you're going with that. Um, east. I'll, I'll just tell you. East. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so in 30 turns, uh, Washington's going to be an asshole, apparently. Why is Washington grayed out on, on the scoreboard up top? He's not. He's at the bottom for me. He's grayed out for me. Probably because you haven't met the man yourself. But I haven't met a handful of these people. I haven't met Germany. I haven't met whoever's right below Gandhi. I haven't met Korea. I haven't met any of them. Understand? Why would Washington be so very concrete on, you know, wanting to embargo me? It's not like I've done anything to him. No, but you've sat there, destroyed a civilization, and waged war with another one now. True, but you know that's just because Charlie. That's you are you are literally the Middle East at this point. Well, that's not what I wanted to know. Yeah, no, I'm not fine. really a zealot, though. Now am I? After all, if I was an evil zealot, I would have burned your city to the ground. Instead, I rebuilt everything I burned and then made it all nice and new and profitable and just really made it a pleasant place to live. Yeah, matter of fact, next turn it's going to have a population of 10. You going to accept that proposal or... Um, you actually set the proposal. Oh, okay. That means we'll remerge once you end your turn. Yep. I need to build that. That way I won't I should be build waiting that, for you that, for the rest that. of the... And... 
then I'll just throw that in there because then maybe I'll fucking get some work done. <laughs> you, maybe, I want you to maybe, build. I won't. Maybe I should invade Gandhi next. No, because I, I mean, can't, can't build that if I built the other thing. I don't think. I got this big mill. I got this big military that I can march through the ocean with. Maybe I should, you know, start using it. Jerusalem no longer needs investors. What does that mean? It means that the bonus that you would oh. get for giving Jerusalem, um, you know, gold. Mm. I didn't give him any uh, gold. I gave him a, I gave him a, tr a trebuchet. <laughs> Why'd you give him a trebuchet? Just to get rid they, of it. But they don't need a trebuchet. Oh, they got a trebuchet. Fuck you. Matter of fact, I don't even think he has space for a trebuchet. You're a terrible terrible man ah, I've met Germany good now I don't want to talk to them anymore you know what I think I'm going to send my nice little soldier over here to stand next to your helpless little worker that way it won't get carried off by some unscrupulous barbarians I haven't seen any barbarians in a little bit gee I wonder why Charlie a gigantic army just pulled up on your shore I mean, I know they're there because I can see their camps. <laughs> they're both near the ice. One's directly south of me, pretty much. Oh, one is more eastern. Friendly trade route plundered. Uh, it's hmm. not me. Uh, oh, between Gandhi and Nottingham. Oh, okay. Never mind. It wasn't one of the important trade routes. Oh, okay. I probably need to build uh, some kind of caravan. Hmm. Hmm. I want to enter your borders, Charlie, so I can farm this wheat. My wheat? Yes, so I can make some wheat. I am cleaning the neighborhood, but I cannot clean. Can you actually do that and it ends up being mine or something? Uh, you know, it actually does work that way. I used to do it with a lot of city-states that I would manage. They'd have a resource that uh, they weren't taking advantage of, so I would march a worker in after allying with them, and uh, make it for them. And then they'd give it to me in gratitude. Alright, well, I have to have an embassy with you first. Oh, well, that that's clearly not going to happen. We've already had an embassy once. Mm -hmm. It won't yeah. let me do open borders until there's an embassy. Yeah. There we go. There, there's my counter offer there. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was going to embassy well, and then give you open borders to to convert that wheat for me. Well, that's too bad. Do more I'm not food. doing it now. It's <laughs> like the fact I've got eight food as it is. You know, it really, it, you know, that could actually be some very good food for you. I know. I, my yeah, guys I mean, are busy building a road. It's Unit right was killed. To, it's, uh, I don't care about him. It's right next to a river and it it's a wheat. And it's at a crossroads. And it's a desert. Well, technically, desert doesn't really matter so long as it has water. I know. But, um, yeah, I know. That, well, one, one of them's busy building a road to my other city, and the other one is busy literally repairing my other city. Right now, he's working on horses. And that guy said they're just leaving. He said, fuck this place. Fuck this shit, I'm out. And he's gonna go way over there. I'll eventually get a builder over there. And start 
developing that area, and then I might. So I can, I don't I don't think I could do anything with desert tiles myself. What? Well, whenever I hover over them, it doesn't give me anything that can be done with them. It doesn't tell me that it can produce anything. Oh, well, I guess I could do trading posts though. Yeah, trading posts. That's right. That's right. So I could. Yeah, pure desert tiles with no um, with no water source running next to them are useless. But I mean, there's desert. a there's a lake right here, and the lake can be turned into food. But everything, all of the other spots around there are useless. It says other than the one thing of wheat that's also next to it. Come on, Settler, get over there. Is, is your pikeman following me? Uh, actually, I'm just having him explore now. No, oh, he's kind of following me. <laughs> yeah, well, doesn't really matter. Also, because I want to see where you're founding this new city so I can do bad things. On the, right there next to Gandhi's capital, <laughs> but on my continent. So, am I going to have to make another caravan now? Since you broke the last one? I guess. Mine disappeared, fuck. Oh, yeah, that's right. You had a land one going to me. Yeah, you will. Yeah. He, he literally got caught up in the crossfire. I didn't even attack him. He just got hit, I guess. Yeah. Okay, I'm building one as well. Hmm. To trade with you. You probably got gold. Yeah, Damn, what, how much do you on. got? Fuck me. 56 gold. And 129 plus per turn. <laughs> yep. Hey, I'm finally at zero gold again. Yeah, so you'll be at plus two when I finish making a caravaneer. No, I'll probably be at minus two. No, Charlie. Currently Such at a minus defeatist. Four. I mean, once my caravan's done, your caravan's done, then yeah, I might be at plus two. Why is my why is this guy running off over here? I didn't tell him to do that. Maybe he's going to look for the um barbarians I got. Um I got the barbarians over there. By the way, I have not seen much past Venice. Yeah, yeah. There's America up to your north. Figured. Yeah, but I don't know why you weren't able to spot them. And by the way, you, you can walk it. Don't don't know why you didn't do that, but you can. Why is no one else producing gold a turn? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, those are my horses. Thanks for the horses. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> well, Charlie, you know, it doesn't help that you're like, you're so very easily to pick on. Son of a bitch. Oh, I discovered a natural wonder, Behringer Crater. Yeah, I discovered that like yesterday. Yeah. Literally. Mm-hmm. No one is producing gold except you. Everyone else is at zero or losing. Exactly. Because I am a very busy lord, king, or... I don't really think I have an official title at this moment. I just clicked on your city to trade with you and to realize it's not our turn anymore. Yeah. Maybe I should finally upgrade this old war chariot to a knight. Gosh darn it. That wouldn't work anyway because you've already beating me out of that anyway. Hmm. Yeah, old Georgie Porgy up north is going to get a very rude awakening. Yeah, 23 more turns. Oh, that's in interesting. What? Venetians have a great Galeas. 
I wonder how many votes I'm gonna have. Uh, here, I'll tell you how many votes you'll have. Uh, one. How could you tell this? That's easy. I clicked on the world. Actually, you know what? No, yeah, yeah. You'll have one. Yeah, I clicked on the World Congress tab and... Uh, oh, I see you now, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, you'll have one vote. I'll have two votes. God bless America. Let's embark <laughs> Egypt. Oh, don't worry. Georgie Porgy will get his. <laughs> What's bad is, if that passed, that would literally just screw me here in a few turns. Yeah, it would. You should vote against it. <laughs> I don't think we could ever even get enough votes to pass it, hardly. Well, uh, let me take a look. I mean, how many of those people are your allies, though? Uh, let's see. Yay from one delegate. Um, six civs controlling six delegates unaccounted for. Our civilization controls too. So, yeah, it can definitely be passed. Currently, none of them are my out. Oh. But I could make a change in that. If I had the money, I'd have Jerusalem on my side. Uh, yeah, that's actually not going to happen. What is that? Are you about to hijack Jerusalem? Oh, yeah. You bitch. <laughs> I'm taking Jerusalem. I already got a trade route set up with them. Here, I'm going to give them a gift of 250 gold. Now I'm friends with them. But I bet you the Germans aren't very happy about that. As you know what the Germans think about the Jewish people. They're not nice. Not nice like the king of Egypt. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I just realized that after I said it. Did, did you get it? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? Another what? golden age. Oh, I found Venice, and I found America. America apparently has a settler heading south. Kill it. No. Don't let it breed. Kill it. No. No. Kill it. No. Kill it. Wait, Charlie, why are you having odd turns again? Uh huh? Oh, no, wait. No, no, no. It's just saying waiting for players. I'll say, I don't know. You're just the last person. I was... Settling a city. Oh, I see. Yes, you you have it right across the ocean. Uh, oh, you have the city of Moscow. Well, that's 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 adorable. Yes. Let me just march right on over here and take it. I can sense the fear. You're you're honestly wondering if I'm serious or not. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Can you say this, the name of that city? <laughs> Can you? Okay, now that settles it. I'm taking the damn city. No! <laughs> yep. I'll yep. rename it. All of them. Uh, you better rename it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh. Uh, yeah, if it ain't renamed by the time I get back over there, there's about to be some problems there, boy. Yes, big old problems. There you go. Hmm. Ah. It might actually be worth to build a worker over here and then just send him over there. Mm, maybe so. Port. 
instead of where instead of waiting on it to build way over here with this guy. Hey Charlie, guess what? I have good news. What? Next turn, my uh, caravan caravan will be ready again. So maybe you'll get a profit. A nice profit of two cents. Maybe. I should totally go up north and just start conquering America for what they said about me. Oh, you bitch. Yeah. I mean, and they're not very far up north. I'm honestly surprised you haven't seen them. No, I really didn't. I didn't really walk up north. These trees I mean, expire. considering there's a whole lot of shit up here, you really should have. How many countries are up there, though? Uh, well, let's see. There's Montezuma, Bismarck, America. Venice is to your north, too, but you already know that. And then also, uh, reaching into the north, there's also Gandhi. I see where Washington and um, Bismarck is up there. Those are the, yeah. only, those are the only ones I see up there. Up here's whoever Say this Zhang is. is mainly stuck in the south, though. So I'm going to guess that you could have literally just gone across the sea, go into your east, and found my country, found my continent. No. Sure? Because to the east of you... No, of you. In, no, no, no. To the east of you... Uh-huh. ...is your entire continent, which stretches from North Pole to South Pole. You can't go around it. This world is one way. So the only way I really could have gotten to you... I think you mean the west. Mm. Oh, yeah, west. Yeah, to your west. So I'm going to trade with Mother Cow again. That'd be the only one that could produce money with you, probably. Produce the most. So, Charlie, what would you like New Motherfish to be renamed once I... I've did? already renamed it. Oh, let's see. Oh, it did not save. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. You better change it real fast. <laughs> yeah, unless you want things to get ugly. There. Did it save this time? Yes, there it goes. I'm just pleased with how slow you were to change it. There's an, in there's an India Great Prophet next to my new city. An Indian great prophet is probably going to convert your city into radioactive particles. A butt. He very well may, actually. Hmm. Why is there an American scout here? Uh, there we go. Jerusalem is now mine. Fuck you. Mm, no, thank you. Um, hmm. There's an American scout there because the Americans are now just realizing how fucked they are. Oh, quick. I know what I can do. Oh, no, no, no. Do not race, city. No, silly me. Buy tiles. Okay, Charlie. Now, don't let the American scout out into your territory under any circumstances. I fucking hate what you just did. Yeah, but look what I just did. Yeah, I see what you did, American but do you know what you also just did? You literally just took up one of my road tiles. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter, Charlie. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't build the road in that direction to begin with, but he fucking did. <laughs> Well, this is why you manually tell them where to build, Charlie. After all, it... Sistine Chapel. Sejong is in the lead right now. He's also Probably. entered the industrial era. Yes, he is. It might be time to move my spy over there. 
I've already got a spy in Seoul. He's a whole entire fucking era ahead of me. Yeah? Sejong is one tough motherfucker.